This is Brickhead Boy to reviews. Here I have here is a Omaha Bricks kit. The instructions, of course, it's a KV-85, a Soviet tank, heavy tank, and the instructions are about ten dollars uh, euros, but between eleven to twelve dollars uh, USD. You can download the instructions at Omaha Bricks and get, of course, a brick link file to upload all the pieces you need for easy purchase. Anyways, so here are the pieces I bought from Bricklink. Not sure how much again. Bought multiple uh, pieces for different sets. So here are the pieces scattered. Aside from the pieces, I also bought a sticker pack, the uh, Soviet sticker pack from Omaha Bricks. I believe this was six ninety nine in euros. Anyways, let's build it. And here's the set complete. So there's your tank. I had to remove two pieces and the other two I had to replace with a one by one plain brick. I'll show you as we go along in this video. And I used five stickers from this separate sticker sheet from Omaha Bricks I purchased. So here's what your final tank looks like. The tank rolls smoothly. tank looks pretty nice it's a kv1 cassie with of course an upgraded turret which makes it an kv85 and it has somewhat of a suspension i forgot to show as it rolls just slightly but you know there's this is some suspension and 13 studs wide and you can see here that this part is kind of loose let me fix that but seven studs wide in the front and three and three each so that's 13 studs wide total and there's a bucket here not sure why maybe a puke bucket or something but um you have fuel drums on the side one each and you have a light in the back let's keep going and of course you can see the stickers the viewport that's a sticker and those are stickers from the sticker pack. So five stickers total I used. This one here, brake arms barrel. And there's one discrepancy here from the instructions. I used a gold colored uh, clip instead of black because that's a color I only had in stock. But on the outside, the tank looks nice, which is, you know, enough for me. And of course you have your Tourette that can rotate a 360. Let's try the gun. No depression, but oh, kind of a flaw there. So this is supposed to come up like that. And it goes up. You can open this hatch here. And there's a couple hinges here for the other hatch. So as you look in, you can fit your minifigs and it has room you can see it goes all the way inside good building technique on there so like i'm gonna say this has more details than i need i mean the outside looks good but you pull the turret out and there's your interior not only that pull these tiles and there is your, you have a couple levers. Let's just pull this out and you can see printed uh, Lego pieces. So this part here is really unnecessary. I mean, you pull this off and you have more detail here. You have vents and you could pull this out 
to reveal an engine. Good detail, but the problem here is, is everything is covered up. So in order to see everything, you have to just take everything apart. So that's another Lego printed piece right there. And the engine can be removed, but you're gonna have to just pry everything else out. So after destroying the tank, you can take the engine out and there it is. Now with the tank somewhat put back together, Here's that piece that goes over the engine compartment and I had to remove the two pieces I was talking about earlier. These two, so they're supposed to go on like this. So that being the case, you put it on here and it just kind of glides like that. So impossible building technique. So I have to remove these to fit the roof on. And even without those pieces, it still kind of just floats slightly on here. Now the other one here are these two pieces I was talking about. So this is my modification, that one by one brick I replaced. Let's see what happens when we put the uh, piece that's supposed to be on there. So this is what it's supposed to be like. And let's add this piece back on. Nope does not work so that's the reason why i replaced that so the understood and the stud with the hole won't line up properly and you are not able to put it together so that is the reason why i use just the plain brick so and one more thing too um as i was building this part here it's only held by just a couple studs so um one of the weaker parts of this tank. And lastly, I do have an extra Brick Mini minifig. Let's put them in. And there. Let's conclude this review. So, this is a pretty cool build. You get a premium kit tank without paying the premium price. Uh, the only things I had to pay extra were... Uh, the brake arms barrel, which is about $8, I think. The sticker pack, which is about 7 give or take. Other than that, you just have to uh, supply the pieces, either your own or from BrickLink. And the instructions itself, of course, from Omaha Bricks, you get yourself a nice looking tank. Despite the building flaws, uh, just a couple of them. Uh, easy fix, no problem. And... A weak flaw on the side of the tank I showed earlier. No problem really whatsoever either. This is a good display model and also you can play with it as well. It rolls well. Good looking tank like I say and good design. This Brickhead Boy. Thanks for watching.